They did it, they did it, they did it. They pulled the rabbit out of the hat and they finally fixed this Action 3 camera. Let's do some testing. We're gonna try the different modes. We're gonna check it out. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments how this camera looks and if this is now a viable competitor, especially at the price for the GoPro Hero 11. And by the way, I'm in HDR mode right now, which is 10 bit free color. Okay, so right now we are in d -Cinelike. 4k 24 frames a second we're underneath some trees in the shadows you can see the sun is blaring directly behind me and how does this look i'm walking in and out of light am i clear is the beard somewhat clear we'll do a little slow turn so you can soak in all the environment and the, the, the beauty of this little location here. This is a little park by an apartment complex that's close to my house. Let's take a look at some trees. Can you see the details in the bark? How does it look? This is 4K, 24, rock steady, decent alike, 10 bit. Okay, so now we're still lurking in the shadows. It's like four in the afternoon. It's gonna be dark in about an hour and a half. So it's not quite golden hour, but getting close to golden hour. We're shooting 4K 24, rock steady, normal color profile with enhanced on. How does this look? And if you don't know, or if you didn't see the video, this is my third action three. The first one was horribly blurry. The second one was slightly blurry, so I tried to correct it myself, and like a goofball, I scratched the lens and screwed that camera up. So then I cashed in on my, my DJI uh, Care, and I sent that one back, and they sent me one that was made in November, and this thing, I think, is amazing. Look out, GoPro. And again, this is 4K 24, normal, with enhanced mode on. We'll do a little spin here. Away you can see the tree bark with the sun shining into the lens. Then check out the branches, the water, and then back to some more trees with the sun behind the camera. And now we are in 4K 24. Rock steady on, normal mode, enhanced mode off. This is just box stock straight out of the camera. Everything else is in auto. And for the whole video, I left exposure and everything in auto. I've only been changing the profiles. So you can kind of know what to expect. I don't expect this to look great because the sun is about over here, kind of shining into the lens of the camera. But we are going to spin it around and check out the details on the trees as well. And you know, the things you wanna pay attention to are the sharpness, the contrast, and the actual colors. And this is a salmon colored shirt, so it's one of my favorites. Let's look around a little bit. All right, so what have you guys thought about this Osmo Action 3? Did DJI get the kinks worked out? Does it look amazing? Is it worth your money now? I'm extremely happy with this. This is my new go-to vlogging camera until something better comes along. It's easy to use, it's super reliable. I love the colors and it looks great to me, but you probably have a different opinion and I welcome all opinions. Please share down below what you think, what you like, what you don't like, and what your favorite look was, which is your favorite mode. I'm Steve WB, and I'm out.